everybody, it is me again, and welcome to my channel, Fly with Shelly. I'm all about airplanes, airlines, employee applicants, helping you become the better version of yourself, become the flight attendant that you are meant to be, or to provide a, the best bracelet in this in whole entire world that will manifest anything that you desire. And with that said, you guys, today's subject is scarves. I get so many questions about how do you put your scarves? There's a lot of videos out there, you guys, but this video is gonna be special because we're gonna do literally step-by-step on how to put your scarf, and I'm gonna have so many ways that you can do it. Um, and so, with that said, let's get started, you guys. All right, we're gonna do the first scar do that is so popular um, that everybody wears. And so, let's start by just grabbing your scarf, you guys, and we're gonna go step by step. All right, so here's your scarf, and we're gonna split it in half as so. Okay, once you have it, just like a little pyramid, you're gonna start folding it, and 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 it should start creating this really cute line right there. Folding it, folding it, folding it, folding it, and folding it. Once you have it, you're gonna hold it, and you're gonna make sure that this little corner here doesn't come out. Okay, you're gonna fold it, and now I'm gonna show you what to do. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna teach you step-by-step. Step. We're gonna do a close-up on how I do it, and then I'll show you how to actually put it on yourself. So for the first method, you're holding on to that little corner because you don't want it to go loose. Now there's two ways of doing this. Look how cute that is. Kind of creates these lines, right? I don't know how your scarf is, but my old airline, this is that was our scarf. So you can kind of put it from behind like that. Make sure it's kind of even. Remove your hair. All right, cross it in front. Slowly, you can either wear it as so. Okay, that was one way. You can also double it. Okay, and then you can actually also wear it um, either in the front, all right, or you can wear it on this side, which is what a lot of us did. Look how cute. Imagine just having a uniform. So pretty. So those would be the two ways that you can wear it. Um, now, if you're not one to want to do it from the back, you can always do it from the front. So you see how it gets undone? You're going to do the same thing again. You just have to kind of keep twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. Okay, once you get it twisted, you're going to put it from the front, all right? And then you go into the back, and then you bring it back. And then once you do that, you can do that little knot right over here, like so. And, and voila, oops. Okay, so some of us have it, and you can also iron the corners if you don't want it too choky or too tight. Let's see here. I'm trying to do it with that. Okay, here you go. So you can either have it like this, or you can double the knot, which is what I used to do. So that's why it's already twisted. You can have it this way. So you can always wear your little scarf Look how cute. All right guys, so the second method is very easy. So here's your scarf, okay? And you're gonna fold it in half. You should have this piece right here. Okay, what I want you to do, and it's pretty long, what I want you to do is I want you to fold it. And I want you to fold it like an accordion. So you're gonna fold one, hold your fingers there, fold it, hold your finger there, fold it, hold your finger there, and there you go. So you should have kind of something like that. And you're gonna take an elastic, and you're gonna tie up the corner. I call it the little flower, cute. So we're gonna tie up the corner of the flower, as so. Oopsie, okay, I wanna make sure it doesn't fall off. I, get, I have these cute tiny elastics. You can get them for teeth, or you can get them at the pharmacy, at the dollar store. My kids have braces, so it's easy to find these little elastics because they put them in their mouth. Okay, you should have something like that. Okay, now you guys are gonna open it. Okay, and you wanna make sure that the little accordion is inside, okay? So you're gonna grab both ends. You have your accordion, all right? <laughs> you're gonna grab both ends, all right? And once you have both ends, you're gonna put it around your neck, 
as so. I'm gonna tie it up. I usually like to do a double knot, do a double knot. Like so, pull your hair out. It should look like a bib with this hanging. Okay, if it doesn't look like that, then you can adjust it. Now you're gonna bring this little bib, you're gonna bring it inside. All right, over. You're gonna pull it out a little bit. All right. And it kind of looks like a little poofy scarf. And then you're gonna push your accordion. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And here you have it. So this is another way that you can wear your scarf when you are in uniform. So you know you can adjust this to smaller, bigger, but it looks so cute. So you can walk around and it almost looks like you have a scarf and you have this little bib sticking out. It's really, really cute, you guys. It's stylish. And as a flight attendant, sometimes I had it like this whenever I felt like, like it. Most of the time I never had an elastic, but look how cute you can adjust uh, and you can pull as much as you want. Thank you. All right, this would be another time, another style. Now let's go to style number three. All right, for this other um, scarf method. Now this method is a lot of fun. This is why I tied up my hair and it's a little messy because I want to kind of get it done. Put in back, lift up your ponytail. I call this the knot, okay? So it's even before you even start, all right? So whichever one is under, for example, let's say this one, you put it over, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it up in the back. And you're gonna go and meet both into a knot. All right, so what you have is a double loop. You see how it's double loop here? It's really cool, because you can actually fancy it up on one side, fancy it up on the other, or just put it on the side like this. It's really cute. You can either have it open, it looks very stylish, or you can have it, let's see here. Or you can have it, guys, like literally, poofed up over the other one and then poofed up over this one and here you have it very cute very neat pretty nice you can tie it up as you wish and I love how it's the loop over loop or you can leave it open a lot of people just kind of style it on one side like really poofy especially if you're from another airline and you have maybe a, like a bigger longer scarf um, I've seen people where they tie up two scarves together to make them bigger. I've seen them where they cut them and sew them to have them already pre-made. All you have to do is snap them together. Um, so you could do whatever you want, really. And then you can kind of leave it up and look how cute the design is. So that's another way to put your scarf. All right, guys, for this one, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to fold your scarf in a triangle. All right. And then you're going to fold it like an accordion. All right. So the point... The point is going to be at the bottom and you guys are going to fo start folding the top. Okay, you can fold it one side to the other to the other or just fold it and roll it and it should look like this. Okay, once you fold it, now you want to look like a bandit. I call it the banded butterfly. So you're going to tie it up in the back. You're not going to tie it up in the back, but you're going to crisscross and bring it to the front. And you are going to knot it one time. Once you knot it, you're gonna go one, you're gonna put one of those little tongue in the back and in the front. And you are gonna put a little knot together, okay? There you go. You could double it if you want, I don't. And now you have kind of like a cute little bow. Look how cute, I love this one. This one's one of my favorite. So you could be walking around going, yeah, yeah. So see how it ties it up in the uh, middle? You can make it a little tighter so that the bow looks a little tighter as such. So you can go back there and just kind of whoop, give it a little tuck. All right, and you can kind of hide it. You can make a little knot, it's up to you. And then you bring this down, you guys, and you have a cute little bow. Look how cute. So this could be another way that you can wear your scarf. All right, let's go to the other one, guys. All right, guys, so next up, you have your folded scarf, as I showed you in the first video. You're gonna put behind you, I call this one, the marine, marine submarine. <laughs> I have a name for every single one of them. Once they're all folded, you're gonna cross them one time, cross them another, cross them another, and another, and another. Make sure they're even right before you get started, and another. Okay, so once you do have the crosses, and now you're gonna go over, and you're gonna make a little knot. 
Okay, you see there? Pass it in there and tighten it up. You feel good, like a loop? Like a little loop. Here you go, yes. Ooh, it's so cute. You can either have it on both sides, right? Or you can have it in one. So cute. Again, you can have it crisscross like this, or you can have it one on top of another, almost like a tie. And here you have to obviously adjust it. I've been playing with it, but you can make it just so cute. <laughs> um, so here's your scarf. You're gonna grab one of the corners. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, so grab one of the corners. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pass it around your neck. And you should have a long piece hanging like this. And then you're gonna tie it up to whatever tightness you are comfortable with. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up to, I need a little more. All right, so go ahead and tie this up. That it's, and it feels a little awkward because you have a little piece with a big piece. It's hard to find uh, a good place to knot it, but once you have it, you have it. See, I have it, there you go. Okay, so you guys should look like this. All right, once you have that, you're gonna bring this little baby in. And you might have to do that a few times, depends on how it falls. Okay, so that's my one time. I'm gonna do two times. Go in the second time. Okay, you wanna adjust it a little bit. There you go. Okay, so you have something like this. I love this. This I use all the time. If you don't like it, you can make it a little shorter as well. It's up to you. Okay. Um, and you wanna adjust it. You can do it to the side. Again. This could be adjusted to whatever you like. This is you. I like to wear it in the front because I think it's more proper, especially with my jacket. Uh, what you'll see is just this coming out. And if you want it to be even, you just kind of make it come out. But it's a cute little way of wearing it as well. It's almost like a bib, <laughs> but it's so cute. It doesn't strangle you. It's cushiony. It's loose. I kind of came up with this little hack. I just thought it was so cute. What do you guys think? That's my favorite, especially under your uniform. It looks so elegant and so cute. I love it. And it's fairly easy and so cute. So you're gonna fold and uh, just like it showed at the beginning of the video, so you're gonna fold it here as a triangle. So you're doubling the actual scarf. You're gonna leave it flat and you're gonna roll it. Almost done. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Okay, perfect. It look like this and you're gonna put it on the side of your shoulder as so. So you should have a loop right over here like that. And you're gonna put the rest here so you should have the two tails, okay? All right, once you have it and see how this little guy comes out, that could be remedied by the way that you fold it and that will be for another video. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna grab this and you're gonna put one in because you have two tails, right? So you're gonna put one tail in and Make sure your hair doesn't go. And then the other tail, you're gonna tie it up. Look how cute is this. So you can either make a little bow if you want to or not. I'm a knot person. I don't like bows. And so this here, you can always tuck it in, you guys, and fix it. Like I said, because I kind of did it quickly, but if it's ironed and well put together, and look at this little beauty, you can always adjust a knot to make it super cute. I'm gonna redo it just to make it perfect for you guys. Yeah. So here you have it, you guys. So you have the double knotted. So you can either wear it to the side. So like that you have like the perfect um, scarf. Again, the little tongue wants to come out. See if you fold it right. And there's a way you can actually also fold it forward, backwards, forward, like an accordion. Or like when you were young and you were making a fan, how you were doing that. So you could do it that way. Uh, and then when you get to the end, you just, that little corner, just tuck it in. Um, I could show it to you as well, but um, I think you guys get the logistic of it. But look how cute this is. This is so cute. And look on the side here. It has kind of like a hole uh, that kind of shows that. I mean, it's so sophisticated looking. I love it. So there's just so many ways, you guys, that you can do this. The end result is very similar. Either you get the scarf, the bib, or like the tight look, or the little bow to the side. If you like a bigger bow, if you like a smaller one, you can always tuck it in if you don't like it because it's coming out. 
There's so many things that you can do. A lot of people don't like this because it's strangulating. Um, after a while, you do kind of, um, you know, as you gain altitude, you swell up a little. So it might be very restrictive to you. Um, so I suggest to just make it a little bit looser if you want to, or just throughout the day, you could please also remove it. I mean, nobody's telling you to, um, to have it, but it's, it's great for people that are getting older and have either a double chin or their skin is starting to mature and you can see all the wrinklies. <laughs> it's really nice to hide it. Um, I wish I had one that just would lift your face because you get the face lift in the neck protection. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should invent one. No, I'm kidding. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I think Bells as well did. Um, again, this is another way that I roll when I'm in a hurry. So I'll grab my scarf and just kind of roll this baby up real good, and then bam, -da! and it's done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go. I need to run. Oh oh, da 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 da. Ding ding. Ready, and I'm gone. So that's another way. <laughs> Uh, you do develop little techniques of your own when you're in a hurry. And I know this doesn't look professional, but it does the job when you're in a hurry. If not, then you take your time, especially if you have the space and um, the time. You just kind of lay it down. Okay, and I will show you in the video a few techniques how to kind of fold it together to just get it together. Um, but with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more airline-related videos and a magical bracelets. And um, yeah, I make sure you guys tune in every Sunday. I have my live at about 12 to 1230, uh, depending on that day. Uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I always announce what is going on for the week to come. And I always upload all my news, either on Fly With Shelly on Instagram or powerful underscore bracelet. I'm also there. So all right, you guys, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Thank you for following me and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. Okay. So you can um, either fold it in half, all right, and once you do that, make sure that it's all aligned. You are going to go ahead and you're going to fold, 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 fold. When you get to the corner, if you don't want the corner to come out, you just bring it in and you keep on folding so you can have a perfect corner, okay? The accordion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold it again. Okay, but this time around, you're gonna fold it, let's see here. Okay, so you're gonna fold it in, and you're gonna fold it out. In, and out. But you gotta hold on to the corners or else it's gonna get undone. In, and out. And in, and out. In and out. And in and out. And you have your little corner that you bring in. I'm gonna bring in like this. And here you have it. Okay? And this is another way to do it. Okay, you're gonna fold it as well. And you're gonna bring it in and in. And then out, out, and out. And then you're gonna bring it in, in, and in. And then this guy, you're gonna put them out like this. And this is another method as well. Okay, and that's it.